How you doing, Mighty Oak Athletic Nation? Good to see you guys. So, this week's question came to us from Fred in Calabasas, California. Freddie, thanks for writing in. We appreciate it. So, Fred's question was about balance. So, I have four specific exercises that I'm going to give you to improve your balance. But first, I want to point out, strength is the foundation of how our body moves. So, it's important to incorporate the basic movements of a squat, a hinge, a pull, a push. So, what does that mean? That means we've got to work the best range of motion we can. Fred is a septuagenarian. Google it. So we want to make sure we get as low as we can. So if we squat, maybe we can get to here based on our knees and our hips. That's great. Let's work this range of motion until we can get deeper and deeper into that squat. Same thing with the hinge. Think of like picking up a laundry basket. You want to push back, reach down, stand tall and squeeze at the top. Push back, squeeze at the top. Strengthening all those muscles from the feet up to the hip are gonna help with balance. Now, to so the four exercises I recommend to work on your balance. The first one here is an opposite knee to opposite elbow. So we come in, keeping the elbow high, bringing the knee up to the elbow. Twisting, knee up to elbow. Nice and controlled, balancing on that leg on the ground, lifting the knee, opposite knee, opposite elbow. What we want to avoid is just kind of dropping our arms and slowly lifting our legs. Keep them high, reach them high. The next move, if you have the mobility in the hips and the knees, you make a big split like a warrior stance for yoga or like a long stance in martial arts or like a lunge stance if you're doing strength and conditioning. You wanna come in, opposite hand, opposite foot, and then you can either step and switch or we're gonna like jump switch. Coming in, touching opposite hand, opposite foot. The next one, you come in like a letter T. So what we're doing here is you're gonna reach out opposite hand opposite foot so we're gonna go right hand to left foot you're gonna kick out make your shape like a letter T touch that foot then come up under control then left hand right foot reaching down shape like the letter T coming back up under control the last movement you sit down in sort of like a crab walk position keep your hips high again opposite knee opposite elbow working balance this is a great movement here because we're close to the ground. It keeps us safe if we're feeling unstable standing. You can work your balance here. It's working the muscles of your hips, your core, as well as your coordination. Okay, so Mighty Oak Athletic Nation, thanks for reaching out. Submit your questions by video. We wanna hear from you. We'll answer them every week. Fred, thank you. We'll see you guys soon.